This video shows you how to start an added exam using Exam 4. Make sure you have downloaded the correct version of Exam 4 for the current exam session. Even if you have sat exams with us before, there is a new version that you will need to download for each added exam session. Once you've opened up Exam 4, you'll see this screen. Click OK, and then on the next screen, make sure Prepare to start new exam is selected. Click Next again. Now, enter your five-digit candidate number in this box, and then a second time here. This number is unique to your exam entry for the current session and will have been emailed to you prior to your exam day. You need to make sure you use your five-digit candidate number and not your name or your six-digit student number. Please use your five-digit candidate number only. Then click on the drop-down list headed course to see the exams, which are shown in date order. When you come to set your real exam on exam day, you'll need to select your exam from this menu. It will appear under the date of your exam. However, if you are practicing using exam four ahead of exam day, you should instead select the sample exam these appear further down the list and begin SP for sample paper. Now reconfirm the exam that you're sitting and click next. Check the box to reconfirm that you have selected the right exam and click OK. On this next screen, you will see various options for the font size and contrast. This is another reason why we recommend that you practice using exam four with a sample exam ahead of exam day, as you'll be able to try out these different options and find the one that works best for you. The timer will be grayed out and there will be more information regarding timings in a separate video. Click next. On this screen, note the instructions provided and make sure you are familiar with the crash recovery procedure and have watched the guidance video on the website on what to do in the unlikely event of a crash. The honor code button links to the added online exam rules, which you must read carefully in advance of your exam. Check the box and click next. Then check the box to accept close mode. This means that once your exam is in progress, you will not be able to open other programs or view data outside of exam four on your computer which is a security feature used for all added exams. Once you end your exam, this security feature will be switched off and you will be able to open programs as normal. Click Next. You will now see this confirmation screen. As it is a remote exam, click Begin Exam Now. Now watch the next guidance video, which will show you how to complete your ID capture.